and salutations welcome back to yuppie psycho last time we got chapman his promotion to the third floor but he didn't like it but he unlocked the third floor security room for us and i went in there and i died so this time i'm gonna survive and we're gonna see what horrors await us in the security room like and subscribe and enjoy the show Hunter. This is not for me specifically, you know, because there's been hunters here before. There's no... Hey! I shouldn't get too close to the witch's cauldron. It seems to emanate an ancient resentment. If I want to explore further, I have to do some... Do so from here and carry the dagger with me for protection. If I should start scoring things in the hidden floor, I'll leave the tadpole out of it. I don't want anything to happen to him. Signed, R.C. I guess that's all there is over here. Uh, you got a nice little place in here, bro. You got a whole dispenser. Hey, amigo. Welcome to my office. He's a monkey. My name is Swery. Swery? Bro, I hope that's how you say it. Uh, hello, my name is Brian. How are you, Brian? How's life? Uh, could be better. Hey, is this a bar? Are you selling alcohol at work? This? You mean my office? No, of course not. It's just a regular office cubicle. Why do you say that? Well, uh, because of the bar, the bottles of alcohol, the music. You're even drinking a pitcher of beer right now. Is it? I am a true alcoholic. <laughs> no, this isn't beer. It's 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 p oh no oh no that's much worse <laughs> just kidding amigo te quiero you got us we you got us we i don't have a spanish accent how to put some boots down <laughs> you got us we turned my cubicle into a bar we couldn't stand the corporate work or or that stench out there this was our way out you mean you and that monkey yeah, sorry, I haven't introduced you. This is Sarapova. She gives me a hand, pouring beers, and this is the only one who remembers the cocktail measurements. For real? The monkey? I don't know, Sarapova's cute, I guess. But tell us, what brings you here? Uh, it's my first day, and I'm exploring the building. The fourth floor is huge. You must be tired. Do you want a drink? A bit of a chat, I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. Uh, thanks, but I'd rather not drink alcohol. This doesn't sit too well with me. Oh, right, you're underage. No, I'm not. It's just that we're on the clock and this company is full of monsters, so I need to be on my high alert at all times. That's right, the company is cursed. Do you know Forrest Kaisen's number theory? Forrest Ky Kaisen? I can tell you, but you have to have a drink first. See that soda machine? I've rigged it to be cheaper than the, one the regular ones. Every time you buy a soda, I tell you more about the Forrest Kaisen and his number theory. 75? I guess you've noticed the strange things happening in this building. I think I have a clue says what's going on. It all comes from the numbers. Numbers? Horace Kaysen was a known American philosopher and mathematician in the 1960s. After returning to the, from the war, he published a single book called The Mystery of Numbers in it. He explained that numbers exert a force in the material world. Oh, like magic? Numbers that are good or bad luck? Sort of. He said that each number is a symbol, and intrinsically carries a hidden forces to the human being, which have shaped the history of humanity in almost, from almost its beginning, out of whatever the sentence was. Forrest Kaysen's theories are so groundbreaking that academics across the country publicly ridiculed him. After months of being locked up in his house, he found dead, hanging in his office next to his mysterious note. And what was the note say? Nothing. There are just about nowhere, just a list of numbers. I have another copy of it, of his book. And I think this building is being heavily influenced by the numbers. Pick a number and I'll tell you what it means. Six is the number of a lie. 
A number that hides more than it teaches. It draws your attention to, to something, but behind that is something else. It's usually related to the snake. It slithers quietly without you noticing it bites. It injects you with its venom. And it's a sex number too. <laughs> but I'm on, I'm not telling you that you're still underage. I'm not underage. <laughs> Just kidding, amigo. Te quiero. Five is the eight. If it's a tight knit team, it's a number that can either move forward or stand still. It is the patience, the logic, the rational balance. It's a number with hardly any magic power that works because its pieces fit together perfectly. One more, one more. Ten is a number of paradise. Unlike zero, it represents complete fullness. Ten is a white number, saturated with light. It is the number of the opulence and the golden age of glory. The ten is the hero who has already won, and so, even if it doesn't know it, it's a lonely number. One that has achieved everything and has everything within its reach. I thought it would be a better number. Ten is for all this superficial fame. It's a number full of memories and melancholy. Only the inside. Alright, I gotta get out of here, bro. Oh! You're too slow. You're too slow. You're so good. Come on. Come on, Doshi. Sweet, buddy. You really are dope. I've got a little utensil around here that you'll find groovy. You're gonna wig out. Ah! <laughs> oh, I guess he wasn't lying. Is that a flashlight? Is that a flashlight? Duh, it's a lantern. The main difference with normal flashlights is that they have a wider circular beam of light. If the others are great for exploring hallways, these are cool for open spaces. Hang on, there's a little problem. Lanterns run out of batteries like other flashlights, but the difference is they consume them twice as fast. Oh, I'm never. I'm not using this. Never. What are you doing on the third floor? After the security breaches, I am forced to personally connect to all the cameras in the building. This is an exceptional situation, and we are limited in time. I'm requesting that you use the new high speed wiring to facilitate the connections. Come on, Doshi. Are you ready? Take it easy, man. Fixing one of these things takes time. What's the rush? It, it, it's none of your business, okay? Fix it as soon as possible. Really not gonna help these bozos? But look, I have this bottle. Yeah, I have this Corona bottle. And it has a barcode. Maybe I can go get, like, like invisibility, you know? From the, the, the red, green, blue security guards. I think I have a barcode. I found this beer bottle. It's got a big barcode sticker on it. Are you a Mr. Tipsy? Forrest Goblin language for are you an alcoholic? What? If you're asking if I'm drunk, no, I'm not. The bottle was already empty when I took it. Ouch! Mr. Shot Glass? Remember, you don't need to drink to make friends. Oh, to make alcohol. <laughs> ho, 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 he's gonna be sick. It will allow you to breathe underwater? Um, it did not do what I thought it did. Because I thought I was just riding with 13 cups of water for the rest of my life. It worked! Oh, I know what to do. No shot. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. No. <laughs> Last time I went the other way, so like... No! No! Oh, I can hide in these, my dumbass. I forgot. We can hide in these. What the dog doing?
She's cool. Uh, uh, hello? My name is Pasternak. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jung. What are you looking at? Do I have something on my face? Uh, no, no, I just find it weird to see, I mean, to see someone from HR around here. Yeah, well, it's because I'm investigating. Investigating? Yeah, you know, like a detective, Sherlock Holmes type. You can call me Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> In fact, you look suspicious. What's your name? I, I just told you I'm Pasternak. Mr. Pasternak, you're the prime suspect. Me? But what am I a suspect of? I accuse you of blackmail, extortion, and coercion of HR employees. But, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> Take it easy. I was just practicing. We already know the identity of the offender. He's an employee on the fourth floor. But then, if you already know who the culprit is, why are you investigating? We know who's behind the crime, and we've already reported it to the union. But we need something else, something super important, to be able to charge him. Uh, evidence? Elementary, my dear Watsona. That's why I come all this way to record a confession from that impertinent man without him noticing. And just now, I was about to get that evidence and solve the whole case, but you interrupted. Do you want me to give you a hand and see if I can get that evidence? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Watsona, but I don't need the help of a rookie. Girl, let me get past this bit. Damn. Cap. Cap! Cap! I received an order to place all the security monitors. New format will be 6-9. More panoramic modern. I hate it. And you know what I told him? I said, F you. I'm not doing it. It's not my job. You should have seen his face. Damn, she cackling, bro. Since I started smoking, it's all benefits. I feel like I have a lot more personality, and my self-esteem is through the roof. And best of all, the smoke break. My mates can't stand the smell, so I have to come here to smoke. Thanks to this new addiction, I can sneak out whenever I want. It's almost like being sick, but being healthy. Don't you think I'm great? You're an asshole who won't stop talking about himself. <laughs> she wasn't ready for that. She wasn't ready for that news. Unplug me. I can't. <clears throat> again, I fell for it again. How much you wanna bet she ran somewhere unaccessible? I guess I know what that uh TV's for now. She runs all the way back upstairs.
He almost got me. I almost came out. I almost came out. <laughs> Why is she even in this room this time? time I'm learning you have time before they like fizzle off on you man it sounds like a cry for help doesn't it This is so hard. <laughs> I'm breaking it good so much of it out because I'm not talking at all, but like, it's requiring every ounce of my focus <laughs> to not get caught. <laughs> this is the room I was trying to get into. I'm trying to move this down. I'm gonna try and catch this girl one more time and then I'm done. When I corner her in that room, I just gotta spam. Yo, I thought that thing was crawling on all fours of his own accord. <gasps> Okay, now I can access that. I have seven witch papers, and I'm inclined to save. I've opened up several vents. I've opened up several vents and looted several things, and I don't want to deal with it. your card. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking. Why would you unscrew that, you know? Why would you unscrew something to unplug it? That don't happen often. This seems like a boss battle, and quite frankly, I don't think I have enough health for it. Is that a hypothetical? Oh god. Bro, unplug yourself. You... You came to see me? I apologize for this... mess. How embarrassing! Um... Oh. 
Is that a wall? <laughs> oh, so sometimes he falls and he's like a toddler. He can't hold his head up. <laughs> and you have patrollies? Middle spot good? Silly question, but have you come to save me too? That you want to get saved? If he wants to get saved, yeah, I'll save you. Th thank you. Go to sleep. I can't do this. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. I have to beeline it for. I'm spamming the button like it's actually helping, but it's not. Thank you for disconnecting me. Since you're here, I can't get one thing out of my head. Maybe you can help me. How would you like to watch a secret? 4 to 3 format or 16 to 9 format? Was it 16 to 9? Or was it 4 to 3? <laughs> Thank God! I wasn't reading his notes. I don't know. R really? Th that's what I think. T ooh, we're, we're soulmates. Nah, bro. I just read your um portfolio. You're pretty adamant about that in this scene. Ooh. I'm dead. I'm dead. However, if I unplug you, do you die? Because the last two guys I unplugged, they kind of just go still. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if it if this is like a painful life. He really ruined my chance to run. He came down there as soon as the lights went out. I 
know your name. What is it? But, but don't worry. I'm not telling her. Thanks. I appreciate it. Are you, uh, good? I really enjoyed watching you run around the building. I've laughed a lot at the faces you make when you're scared. But I've also felt sad whenever you got hurt. Really? So... You can you can bat do me a solid in this room. <laughs> no, it's me. You're so vulnerable. I'd like to lock you in a room full of cameras 24 hours a day. Okay, wait a minute. Don't wrap me up in any wires. I was gonna do you a solid and free you from whatever this is. But you're saying some concerning things. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That sounded really weird. As long as you don't actually do it, we're good. I, I was just saying that to protect you from her. The truth is that now, having you in front of me, I'm a little sad. I I'm gonna miss how your story goes. I want to ask you one last question before I go. This morning, when you arrived at the company, I opened the elevator doors, but at no point did I say your name. Why did you get on? Cause you open the doors, you know. My parents gave me the money to come to the capital. They were as excited, or even more so, about the job as I was. I couldn't go back with nothing. I see. You can do it, Brian. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. No, we'll cook her. Don't worry. I got you. Plug in, buddy. We'll cook her. I'll cook her for you. My number one fan. He's dead. He's got something in his hand. A security camera? Dang. So you're just cooked? Oh my god. I'm gonna miss you. I hardly got to know you, but you're really thrilled to see him. That's tragic. You will be missed, bro. I'll follow up. I'll, I'll cook her. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm glad somebody in this company believes in me. And he was kind of corrupted. That's more than I can say for you, Hugo! Why do I feel so lonely now? <laughs> he, was, he was rooting me on and now he's just dead. I saved him. I read that part of the note. Oh. It seems that the security employees have been disabled. Woo, woo! No sneaking, no sneaking, no, no, no sneaking, no sneaking, no sneaking, no sneaking. Don't gotta sneak. I don't gotta sneak anymore. What you up to, Hugo? Huh. Huh. Look at... What camera is this? So maybe I can fix that camera? Do all of these get a camera? Like, I can scroll through? The interface on some of the camera is gone. A baby. Please, Hugo, do not start beef with me in this room. I'm just trying to save and call it a day. Thank you. You know what? Let me go get the. I'm gonna go get the the, the thingy. The thingy. This gotta be room F, maybe. I think that's the only room I haven't gone in, or maybe room A. A bloody key. Hugo, this doesn't look fair well for you, bro. This employee carries a sign. It says, run away if you don't want to end up like me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm not done, I'm not done. Yeah, we putting the key back. I save? I saved, I saved. Because when he find me lurking and stalking in here, he gonna for sure fry me like some shit fried rice. He will not appreciate me being here.
Oh, we want to move that one, those two last, and then we'll move the first one so that way the first one's out of the way. Hmm. Did not think this through. Okay, so I think now I should be able to just move these two up without that one over there. Yay! These boxes are full of Centricorp ID cards. Tally marks on the wall. You are you killing people and then snatching their ID cards on top of it? It's a mattress on the floor. There are several books lying around. They look like voodoo, bo voodoo books. Oh, this is my man's Arcovo spot? From all these candles and skulls, it seems important. I wonder if it's hiding something. A leaf with that. Okay. Looks like a voodoo symbol. I don't see anything else. What could it mean? Well, I think I've seen it on the one of the lost tapes, first of all. Is the witches are supposed to have the power to possess other women's bodies. This fact, when added to the company's existing secrecy, has made knowing their real identity a challenge. But we already know the whole truth. The witch is a girl named Damori. The Central family brought her on the black market before they even formed the company and kept her locked up in one of the rooms in their house. They could not control their enormous power and it turned against them cursing the whole family in this building. After several years of wandering around the building, Corvo is convinced that the key is in the Centra family home. Although it has always been the most obvious place, no one so far has been able to find anything strange in the residence. It seems the only explanation is that the way to their lair is protected by a very powerful illusion spell. Voodoo magic is based on contact with the invisible world. It can break some of these spells, but not the most powerful ones. That would only be possible with a tool of great magical power. Corvo has obtained the Ethame Dagger. The joint work with Moeda and Nazari has been crucial. His contacts abroad have found the exact dagger that can end this witch. Corvo is convinced that with it, he can also break the powerful illusion spell that blocks the way to the lair. I see. Well, while we back here, we gon... I'm gonna move it back so, like, if he do come in here, he ain't gonna know that I was in here. He won't be catching me lagging. So the Centra family bought a girl in the black market. Probably wasn't happy about it. She cursed the family and the building. Let me put it back. Oh my god, I thought that was him for some reason. <laughs> Ooh. He literally left. I'm that guy. This is what is done on the TV. I'm about to be that dude in this building. Period. I got a blank VHS tape. Aha! Uh -huh. Oddly enough, you have a suspicious tape in your hands. What a coincidence. It's not suspicious, it's empty. There's nothing on it. I see. You're trying to throw me off with false evidence that leads nowhere. I think it's best if I use the tape to record some conversation from the cameras. How are we get to the fourth floor? I've been using, oh my god, that was the lantern. Oh, oh, Calfo, protege trezo muen. It opened. Super Toad has something hidden behind the painting. I'll remember those words. I hope you will, because I won't. How about I just take the key from him and then he can't have it no more? What's he gonna be like? What's he gonna say? Oh! Brian, you have my key! I'll hide it in a new spot. <clears throat> oh, Calfo, Calfo, protege trezo muen. Hello? 
take it. What is it? The you had the dagger? It's the thing dagger. There's also a note it says Pin a snake with your blood on the illusion on the illusory wall. Uh, stick the damn dagger on it while saying the cowful spell. I, I think I have everything I need. Oh shit! Oh shit! Go hide in the closet. He really is patrolling. He's like, yo. <laughs> I see a light under there. Who's there? No! I think I'm safe from Super Toad here. We gotta go. Can I lock him in? Key back. We'll put the key back, and then he won't even know it's me. Let's put the key back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't. Uh oh, every time I hear a door open, I'm like, oh my god, he can't know it's me if the key is in the spot. Yeah, someone had the keys. Someone had a glow stick, but I just won't use glow sticks anymore. Oh my god. Bastarnak! What a coincidence! Why? Has something happened? Well, I just got a call from Hugo. H Hugo? He told me he's indisposed and doesn't want us to have a surprise birth a surprise party for his birthday. Oh, well, okay. What do you mean, okay? Everyone's in the kitchen working on the arrangements. We've already bought the gifts, and I even talked to Doshi about doing his famous glow stick dance for us. I would like to see the glow stick dance. I see, but it's no big deal, right? It can be postponed? Sure, Pasternak. I'll be right there. Will you join me? Yo, this dude's a dog. Attention, everyone! Parsnip has some bad news to tell you. Me? Don't throw me under the bus like this. Well, he goes and dispose and says he doesn't want a birthday party. I'm sorry about the arrangements. So the party's off. Can I keep the gift? Uh... I don't know, do whatever you want. Isn't Doshi coming? Well, I guess not. That's some shit, Parsnip. I tell you one thing, I'm not going to waste all this food. I mean, of course you're not. Oh, uh, we're really just gonna have the party? What do you think, Sosa? Well, since you said the party's off, so much better. I almost screamed with the happiness when you said it. What a relief. Would you like to know a secret? I think I know why Hugo can't come. Is he dead? <laughs> she was too eager. Uh, no, I went to the office F on the fifth floor, and it turns out that's where Hugo was hiding something very important. A weapon for, you know. Oh. Uh -huh. Hugo stole it from our Corvo somehow, and he's been keeping it for protection. And now you have it? Don't tell me you're going to kill, or have you already done it? Uh, no, no. Pasternak, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> uh, control yourself, please. I haven't done anything yet. But, do you know who she is? I mean, you need to know who to nail down with it, right? I have a lead. It seems that the witch is a girl named Demori who lived in the Central family. Do you know where it is? I'm not sure. I think they lived on the second floor. But that's all I know. Shall we? What, now? Oh, sorry. How silly of me. You have to prepare yourself, of course. Crafting magic amulets, crucifixes, garlic. Although, that's stuff's for vampires. It wouldn't make much sense for a witch. 
But who knows? Maybe there's vampires in there, too. You should bring steak just in case, and... Uh, no. I, I don't want to go in there. But... But... You're a hunter, Pasternak. No one can do it but you. I trust you. I'm sure you can do it. Your eyes have changed. <laughs> you think you can do it by yourself? Uh... Cut off my clothes. Stab a dagger into my naked body. I'd better go. No one said it was you, bro. No one said it was you. Oh. Hey, uh, Kate? Hi, Kate. Are you feeling better now? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm quite recovered. Thank you. What are you doing here? Did you get tangled up in it, too? I came to see if we were having that coffee I owed you, and you told me about Hugo's birthday. The coffee, right? I'd forgotten about it. It's all right. But it's too bad the party was canceled, isn't it? Yeah, well, I wasn't in the mood for a party either. I thought Hugo was in your office. Don't you get along with him? Tell you the truth. Tell you the truth. No, so the cancellation was almost a relief. So, what do you say to getting that coffee? Uh, sure. Okay. Well, here we are. The, the coffee's, coffee's so, so good. good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you do look worried, Brian. Are you still thinking about leaving the company? Hugo? Oh. Huh? Uh, well, yeah. Is it a work thing? No, well, yes. It's related to my duties. I have everything I need to finish them, but... Oh, that's good. Well, that's good news, isn't it? It's, uh, complicated. My latest assignment is not normal. It's actually quite dangerous. And the truth is, I don't think I'm the right person to do it. It's funny you should say that, Brian. You think you're not up to the job? I'm absolutely sure of it. Something very similar happens to me. It's just like you said, I never think the work I do is good enough compared to my colleagues. But how can you think that? You have such an impressive resume. And what about you? Aren't you already employee of the month on your first day of work? Yeah, but... What fools you are! Mind your business, girl! No one was talking to you! Eat your cake, eat your bread, eat your pound cake, and mind your business. What's wrong with you has a name, and I don't remember what it is, but it's completely normal. Y you're spying on us? Of course, darling, as cute as you are. What do you mean it's normal? Let me explain it to you. See that guy over there? The blonde guy with the smug look? Pastor, I mean Chapman? You think that guy feels the same thing you do? That he's not good enough for this job? That he's not enough at what he does? I think so because I know for a fact I spent two hours getting him a promotion. Of course not, right? That boy thinks anything he does will be a wonder. He thinks he's capable of doing any task. What are you looking at? Are you talking about me? Now answer me honestly. You both think you're worth worth less than that guy? Absolutely not. Absolutely not! That's right. Well, I can assure you that sooner or later, he will be the head of some company. So you have confidence in yourselves because you can do that too. If you eat properly, of course, you can feed yourselves on coffee alone. Everybody just welcoming themselves to this conversation. That's insane. Speaking of coffee-addicted gremlins... What is it, Sosa? You can talk, woman. I will bite you. Ugh! You're a weird girl! Ixnay on the wish talk. She don't know. Uh, Mr. Pasternak, can you come to the elevator for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Don't stab me in here, Sosa. I have the dagger, and I'll stab you. All the floors have been blocked off. What? All except the second one. Cap! Someone is forcing you to go to the second floor. No, she's not. What's on the second floor? Uh, there's... There's... Vampires. Vampires. Dracula style. But you mean people in disguise? Yes. No. What is this conversation, bro? A real Dracula. But not a good-looking one. A super ugly one. <laughs> no, don't listen to her. It's just the test that I have to finish is on the second floor. Oh. Well, let's go. Uh, no, no, no. We're better off waiting for someone to fix the elevator. I'll help you with your task. What? You've helped me several times. I owe you one. Not really. It's... 
Not that I don't want your help, it's just... Come on, let's go to the second floor and you can explain to me what this is all about. Wait, wait, it's too complicated to just explain. Actually, I, I can't tell you. You can't tell me? I I'm sorry, Kate, but I'm forbidden from revealing the task to other workmates. Mm -hmm. Well, don't tell me. I'm going to help you anyway. She better than me. I'm not hoping to do who's not telling me what I'm helping him with. Besides, I don't think it's any more complicated than finding four elected employees avoiding HR. Girls. And poison gas. Whatever. I'm ready. When you want to go, press the button for the second floor. I wasn't ready for the second floor. I'm worried about Hugo. Don't worry. I'm sure he's fine. He's been waiting for this party for a long time. It's so weird that he can't come. Hey, don't you eat? Here you go. You're all skin and bones. Oh, thanks. Thank you. You still mad? Oh, what a stinking party. It's like a funeral in here. It's cancelled. Whatever. Hey, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be getting me a promotion? Can I still do that for you? How do I do that? I'll get him the promotion, but I don't know how to do it. I need to go to the archives. Man, I wonder why it comes to this party anyway at this rate. Damn. We're going to the second floor, I guess, guys. Let's go. Let's go, girls. Let's head out. We got this. We're the snack gang. Come on, Brian. I'm following you. So sorry. Are you coming too? No. I just want to look around. Guys, stay close. Where are you? Kate? You gotta better stay close to me, man. Kate! Oh, I see her. Mind the dead body, girls. Girls, it's blocked off. This was kind of opened. Girls, what are we doing? Uh-oh. Girls, what are we doing? Oh! I didn't know I meant to use it on myself. Same, Kate. Brian, what are you doing? Uh, Kate. Really, I think you better leave. No, go on. Oh, Calfo, Calfo, protege trezo muen. Did it work? I don't think it's this one. I'm at the wrong. I got to cut myself. Which one's the serpent? I don't know. This one? This is where the baby thing was. I was just. I didn't know it was a specific door. I didn't even know I was going to cut myself. Girls, I'm looking dumb as hell. Oh, what did the note say? It might be two. It might be two. Don't mind me, just cut myself open three the goddamn times. Four goddamn times. It it worked. Ugh. It's possible things get dangerous from here. I think I'm gonna stay. If I see anything weird, I'll give you a signal. Uh, okay. Kate, you better than me. I'm not going in here with him. Look, there's another door blocked off. Is there a save? Is there a printer? Please. It could be another illusion. I'll try the dagger. No, let me. Uh... Wait, girl. Hey, what are you doing? I said I was going to help, didn't I? Well, that's what I'm going to do, even if I don't quite understand. She better than me. I'm not blaming nothing for no man. No dude, I just met my first day. I don't care how cute he is or how nice he is. Oh, Calfo, Calfo, Fortege, Trezomwen. 
You're not a witch hunter, are you? Oh, shit. By all means. It worked! I, I can't believe... But what's going on? Is, is this some kind of magic trick? What'd she say? Did you hear that? A voice came from down that hall. Wait, Kate, you're gonna get possessed, girl! Brian Grammer! She's gonna get cooked, dude! I didn't find anyone. Just this pile of ashes. What happened here? Everything's burned. Uh... Brian, I know you can't tell me, but I just don't understand. What is your task? Remember that red letter I showed you when I first met? Yeah, of course. You had been selected for a position at Centricorp. That's right, but it didn't say what the position was. Uh, truth is, I've been hired as a witch hunter. A, a witch hunter. I had the same reaction. It sounds like a joke, but I can assure you that it's true. There's a witch in the building, and she's the reason why strange things happen in this company. But Brian, do you have any experience in that? In witch hunting? No, of course not. I have no idea what I'm doing. I signed the contract without knowing my assignments, and now I'm stuck here, doing rituals I don't understand, risking my life and my colleagues. I'm so stupid. It was all a trap, and I fell for it. Take it easy. I'm gonna help you. Let's see. What were your goals in order to complete the task? I had three. Get the Athame Dagger, find the Witch's Lair, and learn her identity. Okay, okay. Let's take it one step at a time. We got the dagger, right? It's the one we used to get here. Her lair must be this house, don't you think? I've read a letter from an old hunter. It said that the excess to the lair was in this room. Okay, perfect. And finally, do you know who the witch is? She's a girl named Demori who lived in this house with the Centro family. They tried to finish her off by burning her alive, but it didn't work. Blimey! I guess that's why the room is burned. Well, you solved all three tasks. What's next? Cut off the witch's head? Oh. Yeah. Okay, in order to do that, we have to find her first. You said the entrance to her lair it was right here. I'm going to use the dagger on this wall, for example. Wait, wait! It's better if I do it. After all, it's my job. Dang, he got himself kind of hard that time. Oh, Kelfo, Kelfo, what did you Tres omwen. Oh, it worked. That was really easy. A crack in the wall. It, it has to be the entrance to the lair. Come on, Brian. We're close now. Wait. Oh, it's the cats. A, a cat? Sosa! Something bad has to be happening outside. We better get back. Kate? Oh, she's gone. Wrap it up. Are you okay? You look so pale. I'm so pale. Uh, Brian, I'm getting dizzy. She's cooked. She's possessed. We shouldn't have brought her down here. She's a whole lady. I, I, I think I am too. Uh... Oh. If, if Hugo comes in here, I'm gonna... You thought you were smarter than me, Pasternak. But you didn't know I had put poison on the dagger's blade. Oh. Now you'll be locked in here with her. Serves you right for sabotaging my plans and my birthday. Now, give me back what's mine. And here's a little gift. Ah! The ah! Pastor Neck, say the Brian, say the word. Say the word, and I will meet you in the parking lot, and we'll jump Hugo. We'll, we'll we'll take care of him. We'll put him down. You break a man's glasses on top of it, Brian? Are you are you nearsighted or farsighted? Because we got she. If you're Velma, we're screwed. Oh my God. And we're poisoned. He goes crazy. What'd you do to Sosa? Oh my god. Cook him. Cook him. If I gotta be screwed down here, so does he. I didn't save. I haven't saved in, in forever. Did I tell you that once I dreamed of a witch? 
Actually, I don't remember much about it anymore. Who's talking? You were there, I think. Oh, that was a whole different lady. She was hidden. Behind the curtains. I'm still scared. Brian, don't let her touch you. Ah! Don't let her do it! Knowing that she was there, watching me. Oh my god, don't you don't you love cutscene damage? No, Brian, this is not your eyesight. Uh, my my head. What a headache. I can't see anything. My glasses are shattered. K Kate. She's still unconscious yo brian looking like me for real basically this is how you see stuff i mean my, my vision isn't that frosted oh maybe it is um anyway we have to get out of here but i'm too weak i'll get help who wait the dagger bro you got knocked out he broke your glasses and he looted you just call it quits for today i don't have the dagger anymore mm. All right, guys, and with that, I'm gonna call it glitz. Oh, he's blind. He can't see. I've gotten to save. We're done for today.